Hi, this is Joe Chambers. Welcome to Musicians Hall of Fame Backstage the Vault Series. Today's clip is with Don Randy, keyboardist with the Los Angeles Wrecking Crew. Today Don talks about his late friend Jay Sebring. He was a hairdresser to the stars, a lot of music people, uh, and hanging out with Bruce Johnston and Terry Melcher, who was a record producer for The Birds and Parker and the Raiders. Things didn't end up very well once they met Charles Manson. But that's history and everybody pretty much knows that story. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss any of our new content. Once again, Don Randy talking about his good friend, Jay Sebring, Terry Melcher, and Bruce Johnston. I liked, I liked the rock and roll. I really did. I, I liked the acid rock that nobody could stand. I didn't mind the screaming guitars because... What's, what's the answer rock that you played on? Well, <laughs> that's a good question. I, I can't remember now, but I, I know oh, I, there, there was a guitar player who, who worked with us, Mike Deasy. He doesn't get mentioned enough, but he was one of the first guys of the, the studio genre that kind of became a specialist in what he did. They, if they wanted that, you know, screaming guitar, and now everybody can do it, but uh, he was the guy they'd call. Uh, who we were doing? Uh, we were doing Bruce and Terry. Do you remember that? Bruce Johnston, Terry Melcher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, when we were doing that date, uh, unfortunately, the guy showed up. Charlie Manson was there. He wanted to get his songs played. That's why he was there. And uh, Mike DC was one of the guitar players, Glenn Campbell, I think Joe Osborne, myself, and Hal. We were doing this date over at uh, Columbia, because they were a Columbia artist, I believe. And they were producing it themselves and writing the songs. And Charlie wanted to get the songs played. And uh, Mike Dacey would go out to the ranch with those guys. Scary, very scary. You know, thank God any one of us could have gone there, you know at any given time, but we didn't, you know, we made a choice. Dennis Wilson did. I guess, I, yeah. So they said, and the, the rumor is that he was going after Terry Melcher, wasn't he? That's that, true. That was, we're, we're all, we're, uh, <laughs> Jay Sebring was one of my big fans. When we first started out as a little jazz trio, he was the first barber. It was a men's barber, but he made it fashionable to take a hair dryer and blow a guy's hair with a, with a blow dryer. Oh, before that, you know, what is that, you know, chick stuff, you know. And after that, all the other guys started doing it, and he no longer was a barber. He became a hairstylist. Yeah. And then he came out with his, and he was the nicest, sweetest guy. And whenever he came into Sherry's, it was always one or two of the most beautiful women. Oh, my goodness. Always. Two, two real classic, you know, good-looking ladies. And that, that was Jay, that's, that was his style. And uh, the, the house that, uh, that, that he went to, we used to be owned by Terry Melcher. You know? So it could have been very, very easily that he was looking for Terry. You know? But that was a scary time. 69 or 70, I believe. Yeah, the club, club uh, just opened uh, at that point.